Make fun and everyone. Oh, okay, welcome back to uh, more adventures in the wasteland um, in Fallout 3 uh, with uh, Felagar. I think I'm playing as. Uh, it is uh, March 21st, 2024. So, you know, really I have just one more day for the to make a decision on. If there's any other game I want during the uh, s the Steam summer sale, oh fuck! I should be reading these, but uh, these are DLC. Um, there are reports of a new radio message being broadcast across the capital wasteland. How see, how can I get these reports? You know, it just kind of pops up, but the transmission transmission appears to be some sort of distress call and gives little information except the location and the name of the man making the look at this oh the plea I thought they meant to say please but it's cut off I was gonna say, it didn't even write the whole thing but all right um what well, I guess I did not hotkey anything how, how can I do that can I do that? Ah. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Very good. Mothership Zeta. A new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. Um, while completely unintelligible, it sounds ominous. Okay, well, broken steel loaded. Broken steel has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised to 30. I believe uh, broken steel is the one that uh, changed uh, how it ended because. Uh, originally when you beat the game it's something like when you uh, should I say anything like well yeah it might spoil some things but I'll just say that um, there comes a point in the game where uh, you need to go back complete all your quests that you didn't you know any loose ends that you didn't complete because once the game ends that's it you know, and you can only, if you want to go back, you just have to make sure that you have something saved, you know, right before you did this one act. But with Broken Steel, it made it where even after you complete the game, you can still continue to play, so. Uh, oh, good. Okay, okay. So I guess I wanted to... Uh, Oh, a new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. Sounds like a distress call, but seems meant for certain ears only. The radio... I forgot which it was. It has a uh, three dog in it, right? Okay. 
I don't know, I may play the radio just for uh, the ambiance and just say to hell with um, being able to monetize this because the music really does add to it. Although I'm, I'm a very desperate for cash, you know, I, I really need every penny I can get, so I don't know. Well, anyways, I, I do want to bring up some more, uh, some, you know, fun memories, more fun memories. Is this, is this Megaton? That might be Megaton. Hmm, yeah. But, um, some more good memories. Uh, when I worked at the old folks home, it's a place called Friendship Village. And that guy Luigi that I was talking about from the last episode, uh, we were talking about post-apocalyptic films and, you know, uh, Fahrenheit uh, 4, 451, I think it was called. And he knew about that one, you know, the burning of the books. And I brought up Ultraviolet starring uh, Mila Jovovich. And he saw that film. And then he said... Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Ultraviolet, I saw that. That film was whack. That movie was whack. And at the time, and this is when I learned what whack meant, I, I heard that word and that expression like in passing, but I, I didn't really pay attention too much to to get down the context of it. Is it F9 to save it? Oh, fuck. I just... should have checked. I knew I should have checked. Okay. And I heard that um, word before and so I just assumed it meant something good, like a good thing, when something is whack. So when he said, oh, that film was whack, he said, oh, that film was whack. And then I said, oh, yeah, it was cool, right? You liked it? He said, no, it was whack. And he just, like, he kind of laughed at me. He said, no, it was whack. I said, whack. Well, so that's bad. I said, yeah, that's bad. I said, oh, okay. So now I know. I've known for quite some time now. This is, you know, I haven't worked there in, in well, a over a decade now at this point. But. Okay, quick save it. Megaton. God, it's been so long, it, everything just looks so fresh, so new to me. just so used to Fallout 4, you know, now at this point. So which one is 3Dog? Which station has 3Dog, I should say? Was it Galaxy? Uh-huh, yeah, this is it. It's perfectly safe, I promise. Yeah, that would be the Children of Adam. It's like a cult. I'll be Danny, another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims. Lucas Sims. Town Sheriff and Mayor too, when the need arises. I remember you. Nice town you have here, Sheriff. It was a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Okay. Thank you for the warm welcome. I just emerged from the vault not too far away from here. Vault 101. 
I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Directions around town. Well, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy, Asian. Uh, perhaps you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires it's to still out very in this place that I don't have time vague to keep description, on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Okay. What is this bomb that the uh, robot out there was talking about? He said something about it being safe? What about it? Perhaps someone should disarm it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. The Church of Adam. Why? Yeah. You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Ooh, well, I don't know. Um... I can see about disarming it for you, but I can't make any promises. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. I, I, I know. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Uh, well, see, this is why we take barter skills and uh, uh, speech craft, right? Could you make it 500? I'm really hard up for cash. I just emerged from the vault, so. That's pretty steep. Uh, oh, God, Do thank you. Get your money. Don't screw up, though. Or we'll all regret it. Yeah, yeah. M myself included. Oh, really? I can really push it. Um, well, now that I'm helping you, perhaps you might want to consider uh, helping me locate my dad I mean I brought it up I, I know you said that um, you don't know anyone by that description I know it was vague but perhaps you could kind of think on it a little bit more well come to think oh, of it, thank I you. do remember a stranger coming through here had a look in his eye you know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose spend some time I know the look I have that, might want that to check purpose Moriarty. Moriarty? That Moriarty? Moriarty. Moriarty. Okay. I could use some directions around town. Could you tell me a little bit more about your town? It looks it looks very interesting to me. What do you want to know? Do you folks have a doctor here? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll find him down in the plaza at the bottom of the hill, across the way from the brass lantern. All right, shoot. Okay, thank you for all that. Don't fool around with that bomb unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I will not. Wow, th this is just so great, and I, I don't know, but something to me just feels like Megaton is has more of that post-apocalyptic feel to me than Diamond City. I, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm sure if I go back to it, I would probably say the same thing, and, you know, about you know, a, a Diamond City feeling more post-apocalyptic, but I don't know. I mean, it's I've played that game much more recently than this one, and I just always thought that, you know, it still looked ravaged, of course, and it looked like a post-apocalyptic town, but something, something about this one. Um, what is my, uh, 
Disarm skill. Explosive skill. It's 18. Uh, it's not really good. But... Oh, 25 or higher. Okay. She so just look at this. The brass lantern. So the doctor is. Okay, right there. Now I know that there's a home you can have here, and Ten Penny Tower is the other one that you can have at the other place. So I guess the doctor's right there. Right. Um, but I always pick Megaton luxury apartments and and that's another big difference in Fallout 4 I can just build a, a settlement anywhere I want or buy the uh, <coughs> houses you know that they have at the, the different towns and settlements uh, here you only get the two I believe This looks so it needs to work on that leak. Common house. Um. Moriarty. Dr. Moriarty, right? Is that what she said? Or not doctor. Who did who did uh, he say? Oh, I have to do that. Well, no music in here. Well. Okay, speak to Colin Moriarty. I believe she's uh, <clears throat> like an explorer and she's putting together some guide to the wasteland. There's really any hot key to go into the radio or to open up my inventory. I actually have to open up my Pip Boy. Colin Moriarty. Oh wait. Okay, but I thought. Okay, Colin's a, a man's name. Okay. Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune oh, it's Irish, to catch me. Right. Well, out of me. It was a woman, I remember. I'm the owner and proprietor putting together a field guide. Society. The <coughs> but please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. Hmm. Well, I was told that you possibly might have information for me. You see, I'm looking for my dad, a middle-aged guy. He's Asian, kind of looks like me. My God, it's you. A little baby uh, boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? What? Then and How now, it would seem. It's been a long time. Ye oh, your daddy oh, passed through here. What's going on here? Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Uh, my father and I were born in Vault 101. You know, it was sealed. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father what? brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. 
That's right. What? Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Wait, am Sorry I a male or female? Truly. A eh, suckling babe? Daddy Lloyd. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Bullshit. Uh, I, I feel like you are wrong. My dad never would have lied to me. I, I don't. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there from some other fella, Skate. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you know you've the, got better the programming creed. than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? I was kidding, you know. Dad talked about you all the time. Now really, where is he? Oh, you seem like a oh. kid, so I'm going to be straight with That's you. Really your good. dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information mm. is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, go oh, a hundred caps, and Daddy's location's yours. Oh, I'll, I'll <laughs> will you? On my own. Well, good luck with that. So far as I know, I'm the only one your dad told where he was going. So, when you change your mind, come see me. I'm usually at the saloon. A hundred caps. Daddy wouldn't think twice if it were you after. Whatever, okay. Look at this, this is so... So cool, I love it. Alright, so... The place I was thinking about is... It wasn't a saloon, it was actually a shop. Where there's this uh, woman there. You know what? It might be. Oh, here, supplies. That might be the place. Crater side. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this woman. Okay, Moira. Moira Brown. That's who hey, it is. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Sounded like Moriarty. Uh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the forward by See, a See, I love these weather. kinds of quests that Help you me get out, would you? on this one. Sure, I have plenty of stories to say about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what hmm. it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. I can't even see the ceiling. Ambassador from the Utopia. No. I haven't found a, a food dispenser anywhere. It was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. Good riddance. It, it kind of was paradise, so... Okay, I don't want to oversell it, but... And it wasn't so much... Like this, cramped, dark, and... You know, I had birthday parties, so I did have a good time. So... Everything was great until... Dad left, and everything went to hell. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe uh, the armored uh, vault you. suit will help you out there, huh? Armored That'll be good for the vault book. suit? In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Um, 
karma, hey. Uh, what sort of pay? And, you know, how much? And what kind of work is it? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Oh. Yeah, I think, isn't this how I get the rocket launcher? But I have to pass. No, sounds good. Tell me more. Hold on. How, I mean, how many people even read anymore? Okay, sounds good so far. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice. Like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, no then they just yell a lot. At me, with mean, mean words. Okay, I guess I shall help you with this survival guide. Alright then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Oh yeah, this is an easy one and I think... Uh... <clears throat> I remember if I get enough radiation, uh, I get a perk or something, some kind of permanent uh, thing, like a permanent perk or power or something, mutation, I think. Well, what is this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So mm. I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning. So I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay. Could it possibly be worth it? Oh, okay, just... Please, be ready to fix me up, okay? Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have no days. Now, hmm. 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or, 600 more, rads, or more, my test will be even more accurate. Oh, Just make okay. sure you can get I'll back try. here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Okay. Yeah, let's see what you have for sure sale. Thing. Mmm. Rocket launcher. I don't have enough for that. Yeah, there isn't a rocket launcher in uh, Fallout 4. I don't recall ever. Yeah. Good luck with that research. Okay. Yeah, just look at that. You see what I mean? It just... The look of this, the sounds... It just conveys uh, a post-apocalyptic world. Okay, there's a, a men's room that I passed up. I am a man, right? Oops. How do I... Uh...
guy's gonna see me drinking out of the toilet or something. I'll just drink out of this. Oh boy. Okay, this is taking too long. children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam let those who dwell here in his favored land okay I'm going to actually to pause it you know so we don't waste time here okay so come forth when I and drink get about the of the glow. up to For 600 rand I'll uh, resume the video salvation serve as a reminder of the division okay. that has occurred I think I'm getting in the past. To it and now. the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your body ah, to Adam, okay, good, my good. friend. Release yourself to his That's power. Cool. Feel his glow and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrow. No at night. <clears throat> okay, so I need a now, room. I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. You don't look like the type. Anyway. Um. Sorry, hon. The noodle stand is closed. If you want something, ask Leo in the restaurant. Have a... Sure. Head over to Moriarty's for spirits. Or, if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. Or Don't... I suppose I better go up to that saloon if there's a place to sleep there. <clears throat> Even though I don't really care for that guy. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of what junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Hey, smooth skin. Mm. Need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? 
Anything at all? Well, I do need a place to sleep. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? No. I'll beat you if I feel like it. Uh, I don't intend to. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit yeah. just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Ah. Maybe you might tell me. I'm looking for my father. Uh, he's an Asian man, middle-aged, sort of looks like me. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. So maybe he'll give me the information I need. Customers in the eyes, but talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Shit. Oh, God, please. I I did speak to him. He turned out to be a prick. Um, if you know anything about my father. Please, tell me. Sorry, oh. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Okay, okay. I told I you, Gob, it ain't the radio. Trouble. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy That's News. That's secure for a reason. Shit I got nothing to say to you. Okay, well, I'm... Oh, Don't hey, look at me girl. like that. Holy shit. What's up, Jericho? Get the fuck out. For a friggin' room. Okay, do I speak to you about that? Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. So, what's it take to hire you? Uh, how much for a room? Well, for you. A room and some company will run you 120 caps up front. I just need a room, but I don't have 120 caps. I I do have 100. And... What? That's that's wrong. Okay. Let, let me make sure. Take care. My caps are zero. What? What happened? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's right. I thought he paid me the 500 already. I'm going to have to sell some things. Um, you need something, youngster? What is it? Okay, well... Oh, okay, let's see what this Who guy do we have here. I, I know what he wants, but just when I had all but given up hope, my dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke, and you yeah, he wants well, me to blow this city up. Are not a resident of this putrid town. cesspool. That makes <clears> you a rather <throat> valuable individual. If you've got a point, please get to it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton. No interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away. And you are going to see that it does. Wait, you wish to destroy Megaton? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real one. The mm. undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. Mm. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you. A secure location. Easy money, my friend. 
You are a sick man. Can I just... Oh, I have to say something. Okay, let me try this. But then I would tell Mr. Sims. Uh, throw in an extra 500 and you've got yourself a deal. Is that the best you can do? Okay. I'm afraid I'm not impressed. Yeah, okay. Excellent. I have a feeling about you. Huh, okay. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at <coughs> Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Don't let me. All right. Making a move, huh? How are you? I'm afraid I can't stop it. Chit chat. What's up? Wait. Most civilized people consider waving guns around to be rather uncool. Oh, I didn't want that. Um. What? Okay, where? Can I just shoot him? We're all going to do it. Oh, so you're a massacre. What's the big idea? Kill you can no longer receive a reward for pulling up. Yeah, okay, let's take all this stuff. Did she just give me this? Oh, what did I just do? Oh, that's when you trap it. Still move. Okay, so that's good. Oh, but I can't run. So do I have to report to Mr. Sims? I remember, like, he didn't walk away, so I guess I needed to pick something different. Uh, and he sits there, and then when I read him out, Mr. Sims and I go up and confront him. Staying out of trouble, shooter. I hope. Don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry hide. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Good luck. Careful around that bomb. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. I don't have to say anything. 
Okay, it looks like uh Just staying here, huddled in the corner. We're all still breathing, so I know you didn't screw up. You got something on your mind. is not to talk to you. Ah, Moira. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit yeah. over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm about as irradiated, irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively mm. glowing. Right. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Do your examination and fix me, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, <sighs> let me take a few notes. I had to and sleep I'll irradiated, so. Radiation with a bit of my own homemade rat cure concoction. I've okay. never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a... Well, you're alive! Ah. Oh, that's okay. the good news. Thanks. But there yeah. was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, yeah, I knew at it. least. Here, take a few radiation chems as my little way of so saying... So let us see what I'm this sorry I twisted your was. DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, rad radiation perk added. Myra's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically re regenerate. That's very good. Okay, I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. Okay. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What kind of food are you looking for? Well, 
food and medicine. Okay. Everyone needs them once in a while, <clears throat> right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check it out. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Okay. I have some things I want sure to sell, thing. actually. Oh, look how many rounds I have. That's really good. Do I need this stuff? Do. Can I butter? Yeah, I don't see anything. So, okay, that's very good. So I have a little something now. Good hunting. <clears throat> good luck with that, Reese. Okay. Oh shit! I keep taking off my bat. Okay, so um, this is it. For now. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoyed and see you.